Hello everyone, hope you find doing good. Thanks for being here with us and welcome from Startup Bank of Kara. And it's a great honor for us all that you are here with us and it's I, I, I can understand that how much excited you are because I am also so much excited because today a person who has traveled from many many far away and he is here in Pakistan and I am feeling so much happy to introduce this person with you because this is a very exciting person, a very you can see educational personality, very entrepreneurial personality and it will give you a lot more knowledge for your entrepreneurial future uh, and uh, I, I would like to welcome him and before welcome I, I would like to tell you something about him and because there is a big big introduction so that's why I am going to tell you uh, I'm sorry I am using my phone for that <laughs> okay so uh, the man who is here from Sweden Norway and you can say the Europe Europe, yeah, Europe is the to understand and Sweden is a very nice country. The person is from Sweden. He is a chairman and co-founder of Social Capital Firm and uh, he is a system entrepreneur, a global action facilitator. He is an initiator, founder and co-founder of a number of international platforms and networks. Uh, in the field of crowd impact economy, for example, social capital form, uh, living bridges planet, impact journey, SOCAP network, social entrepreneurs club, catapult future fest, and catapult learning society. Uh, and all of them are focusing on amplifying the human potential through crowds and thereby solving global challenges. So, and nowadays he's also working with Trondheim Municipality and NTNU, Norwegian University of Science and Technology, in establishing learning society models. And the name is the one and only Bertula. So please welcome in your clapping Bertula from Sweden. Please welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Badula, it's really great honor for Okara that you are here with us in Okara and uh, uh, you traveled a lot. Uh, you, you traveled from uh, Sweden, Europe to Pakistan and now you are in Okara with us. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here in Okara. I was looking forward for this event for a long time. And and I've been following your program on, on your tour, um, not the least this Porsche Day tour you did with Leaf Pakistan was totally amazing. So I got inspired to to join there. So thank you, Ram and Okra, and thank you to you all out there. Uh, so, but as you know that the uh, Startup Grind is a global community which is working very hard to connect all the entrepreneurial and the business minds together so they can work uh, so they can work on a single platform they can know each other and they can get benefits from the experience of everyone and so they can create a wonderful uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem in the every corner of the world. Yeah, thank you, Rana. Yeah, so I, I started like a bit smaller village than you know, Karam. I, I grew up in a village with just uh, 600 people. So, as I said, it was much bigger, but at, at the time before internet, it was pretty hard to get contacts at that time. But today, with uh, so what I do is that I connect people. So, if you look at my social media profile, my Facebook, for example, I say that I I connect people, passion, and purpose, and places. But uh, that's really what I do. And uh, I call myself a system entrepreneur. I'm, 
and my mission is to connect up with people like you. We are to open up an opportunity space, so a space where you have more possibilities to grow business here in Okara and uh, start to do things, to start to evolve your passion. And everything is possible today, from if it's Okara or if it's a small village from where I grew up in North Sweden, or if it's uh, South Africa, or if it's uh, Brazil, or today the, the sky is the limit, as people say. So uh, I encourage you to start to, to look out in the world, connect with people, start to get ideas there, and things will come. You will find out your passion when you start to search, but uh, you need this mindset of, of searching for, for, for your inner true passion. And that takes quite a while, but uh, if you search, you will find it. But uh, as we know, uh, you, you started your own career and uh, you started working and uh, becoming a successful person is not an easy task. And uh, how you become the person now which is here today with us? Because uh, nobody knows it before, but now you are here and Pakistan uh, is, uh, is welcoming you very uh, you can say with a lot of respect, with a lot of love and uh, how you become wonderful person. Can you please share your successful story with all the guys who are here with us and all who are watching us on our international global network of startup crime community. Yeah, in a small village uh, in Sweden where we farm up in the north of Europe. We have something we call Jump the Lord, and it's a bit specific for, I think, uh, Sweden, Norway, and these countries we call the Nordic countries. And Jump the Lord is sort of a norm uh, that tells that you shouldn't think that you are better than other persons. So if you try to stand out and be an entrepreneur or doing something different, other people will say, no, you will fail. You will not do it. You will, you will fail. Okay. So it's not really this support. So it, it was pretty hard to be an entrepreneur in my village or other villages for that sake. Uh, to take the step and to have the courage to step forward and, do, and follow your passion. So, but it's possible, and I think, as I said, that was maybe the hardest thing that, uh, that, uh, that the culture didn't allow or didn't support us to get to It didn't support you taking risks and, and do something different. So, overall, that has been the biggest hurdle. And of course, then come all the other hurdles that every, uh, all entrepreneurs have uh, through life, financing. Uh, go to places, uh, visas. Being an entrepreneur is one of the hardest, uh, but at the same time, most of, one of the most fun uh, things you can do. So I think, uh, yeah, you need to, uh, to endure as a, an entrepreneur, you need to find a passion. Otherwise, it's hard to take the life as an entrepreneur. So, uh, so it's not the best. Uh, Bartula, you traveled, uh, amazing, amazing, thank you for all the wonderful world. Uh, you traveled a lot of countries and a lot of areas of the world and you attended a lot of conferences, IT conferences and you, you are playing a good role of you in different IT conferences and you also attended a conference in Pakistan, Lake Pakistan conference and uh, you also met uh, many uh, Pakistani entrepreneurs, Pakistani startups and Pakistani companies, the small and big businesses companies. Uh, so how how this thing comes and uh, how, how uh, you, we can say that uh, why uh, if, if many startups who are here they want to ask you a question that why are you attending all these conferences and uh, what, why do you think that it is important to attend an IT or entrepreneur or a business conference? Why? What is it? Why, why is this important? 
So for me it was from the beginning it was a work. So I I I got involved in a project which was about developing how a region or a city. So it was really my work from the beginning. And later on uh, that evolved to something bigger. So so it has been uh, yeah, an ongoing process but uh, Initially, it, it was something that I got an offering to do, and then it became my passion all the time, and now I do it as a full year. Okay, yeah, amazing, amazing, particular amazing things you are describing today. Uh, so, as you know, uh, mostly the students are here, and they have a question for you. They, they want to ask you how these students can become Bertula in their own area, how they can uh, copy and how they can become the same like you are today. I think first of all, we need to have this, to be this systematic and hard. Is you need to love to connect and to be with people because that's what you do all the time. So to be systematic in order to connect, uh, not 24 hours, but a lot, uh, you need to love to be with people, otherwise it's impossible. So if you don't do that, then you likely will not uh, stand really good for long time and become really good because it requires years. I've been practicing seven days a week, uh, 10 hours a day for 15 years. So it's continuous practice. Understand that uh, then you need to have a passion for it. The second thing is that uh, you need to be one of the key skills is to decide and have the courage to stand out and connect. You need to be able to ask people, otherwise you can't connect. So if you, if you're, if you don't, if you fear contact, it will be super hard. Uh, so that's the uh, key skill to have the courage to step forward and start to speak with people. The second skill, which is super important, is to be able to listen to people. Because to listen to people and fulfill expectations build trust. And that's the key in relation. So be a good listener is really important and it's like it's like art. And for many of you who know uh, martial arts, karate or judo or all this sport, you can take a certain belt if you become good and then you can have a different dance. So it could be the same. To be a good connector or system entrepreneur or weave, there are many words for a bit the same. You need to, it's constant uh, progress. But courage to connect, uh, being a good listener, and be good to quickly learn from what you hear from other people. That, uh, that is uh, skills you need to uh, develop all the time to be able to develop skills. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, so uh, the next question is that whenever a startup starts their own business, uh, the main problem is money, funding, you can say money or funding, whichever. But the thing is, uh, what you can suggest them how they can start or from where they can get the money for their business, the startups. Uh, I think uh, first of all it's important to realize that and I think many of you in Pakistan already have it in Oklahoma and other places. Uh, it is that uh, you already have a sort of a currency. It's not money in, uh, you know, that you go to the bank and take cash, but you have your relations, you can support each other. So that is really a sort of currency that you can start with. And, and the next is. Uh, uh, maybe it's evolving this new crowdfunding platforms out there. So uh, I think that could be a good source also for, uh, for finding out for the Okay, and now, now the, the question is very, uh, it's a very interesting question. 
how Okara, our city, our area, how Okara can become the Silicon Valley for Pakistan or for the world? How is it possible? Ah, it's, uh, it's just, uh, I don't know if it's uh, possible. It shouldn't be Silicon Valley, you should be a better uh, Okara uh, place. No one can copy another, but you can learn from them. So uh, start to connect with the world, make sure that all the, the people are connected, organized activities, and start to build with them when you start to make a map of all of your passion in your community. Um, and when you have the passion and see what the interest and needs you have, then you can start to link it um, and you build a new map there. Um, in a few years, you will have a great uh, startup grind community, if not all that. Okay, so now this is the time for message. What is your message to Okara? How Okara can be helpful to make their self uh, helpful for the society or helpful for the whole world? For so the great, become even better. Thank you. Put the fear away and the courage to do it. Um, just do it. So I think that's the message. Just do it. Amazing. Big hand for Bergula. Thank you so much, Bergula. Uh, and we really wish you best of luck for all your things. And we want to see you more and more and wonderful. Uh, and we want to see you up more for successful in the future and we wish you very very best of luck uh, now it's up to you how you would like to say bye bye your own words to uh, all our community please say thanks so much bye bye thanks so much inspiration bye bye oh amazing thank you so much and i would like to thank you all that you are here with us and thanks the viewers for watching us in around, uh, in, around the globe and uh, today's event was really great and we really enjoyed a lot uh, to listen and we learned a lot from uh, the person who's from sweden and who is here uh, and it, it's really wonderful and it's really amazing and uh, hope you also enjoyed today's session uh, and I wish you all the best of luck uh, because uh, the next year and the upcoming days there's, there's a lot of things happening around Pakistan and if you want to know what things are happening in Pakistan and especially in Okada so please stay connected with us connect us at startupbrand.com slash okara and uh, we would love to uh, make you uh, easy access and we would love to make you connected with all the persons from Okara who have a successful story uh, so here we are uh, trying to uh, connect with more and more local speakers but the successful speaker and uh, it's, it's really I, I would like, love to assure you that you will see many many uh, different stories and real perfect stories how they come how they did and how they are planning in the future and how they can create a positive impact on the world and how they can do successful business so please 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 stay with us on startup brand okara and we would love to share you more and more exciting things and more and more exciting stories the real stories the true based stories of business so, hope to see you soon with another personality. Till that time, I would like to see you all. Bye-bye. Take care. See you.